Hey guys, welcome back to Fiber Laser Training. So today we're going to be unboxing a 60 watt MOPA laser. Look down what I'm standing on. That's what we're going to be unboxing. But before we get into that, a previous video, the coin that me and my dad made, is downloadable on laserbullitems.com. Right here. That's right. And you can uh, download it for free. It is an easy CAD file. Uh, I need to make it a DXF so it can be used across other platforms, but it is still available for free. And our coupon code, yeah, our coupon, our code. coupon code is still good from our previous video. So check that out mm -hmm. and use it, save you some money. Well, two previous videos, maybe so. Yeah, anything else to add? Well, I just want to make sure y'all are pretty much staying safe, and that's really what it is. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, no. Cut. 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 So, let's get to it. So, we got the 60 watt MOPA in a crate. And we're going to use one of the old Kershaws. We'll see how sharp this thing is. Pretty sharp. There you go. No, you want to do this one? Oh, yes, sir. All right. Don't cut your fingers off. Cut it hard. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. Uh -huh. All right. Oh, also have this to show real quick. We're going to be utilizing this with this fiber laser, but this is an, an air assist uh, to blow off the face of our engraving. We've got some other little accessories in there. Uh, this comes from our buddy Patrick over at Light Source Engraving. So I'll send you a link to, to this guy. Y'all want to check it out. It's supposed to be phenomenal. But we'll put this over here just for a minute. All right, Noah. For this part, you need, you at least need a knife. Uh, you have to have some rusty pliers. You need this knife? Not anymore. You have to have some rusty pliers. You can't use regular pliers. It has to be rusty. And yeah. that screwdriver will help you or a pry bar or something. Uh, this box has seen better days for sure, but I'll go around and find the staples and pop them out. Now, this laser is going to utilize EasyCAD 3. Let's see your pliers there, and I might be able to get this out too. <laughs> be careful. Get your finger out of the way so you don't stab yourself. Oh, well, I think oh, we got Actually, that one. Look. Yeah, I was about to say that we one. We only got stupid. one holding. We only got one left holding. We'll see it. Oh, yeah, that's better. It's because it wasn't like... Well, yeah. and we we'll break it off. So, check it out, Sauerkraut. We got our JPT MOPA source optimal test data that uh, kind of gives you the range it's supposed to be in and the actual range of this tube. So, this is good to have and know and look at. And I want to go over a few things first right out of the gate. Now, this is a, a little bit of a special one that we have uh, custom made. I think they're actually going to start doing them. But the breadboard is a lot bigger than a, your normal fiber laser base. And you have your mounting holes here, right, for the actual tower. Well, most people don't realize that you can actually flip this over. And then, of course, your feet would come off. Hand me that set of Allen wrenches over there. Allen wrenches? I believe they're over there somewhere. Well, I don't know what we did with them. There we go. We need better preparation. But you can just take these them guys. Yeah. And put them down on the bottom. That's right. right. And then if you wanted to, flip it around. You could flip it over. And now you can put those right here and now your laser can be in this orientation so yeah. it depends on your workspace mainly and how you're actually going to need to set the laser up and right now I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to set it up so we are just going to leave it the way it is yep indeed in this first video probably be us just going through the components and whatnot but this is the laser base, if you will. Put that over there. That's right. 
There you go. I'm gonna put these wrenches up. And everybody loves unboxing videos, right? Yep. Indeed they do. Here's some styrofoam. It's blue. Look at this guy. It's a blue. It's have you blue. ever got a blue one? I don't believe I have had a blue one. We've got a red one. Yeah, so here's the the laser head. Here's our lens, obviously. Yep. Uh, this one has an adjustable Z tower by the motor. So we have a connector here that's going to connect to our uh, tower motor. Do we have one? We do, yeah. So All right, we'll here, take, here. are you gonna hold this? Yes, sir. Are you gonna be super duper schmooper careful with it? Yes, sir. All right, remember that umbilical don't need to change or swap around. There you go, just hold it just like that. And we're gonna take this big bad boy out of here. Goodness gracious. That's heavy. They're a little bit heavy for sure. Well, <clears throat> if I can get the plastic off of it. All right. You need like a forklift to get it off. <laughs> we do. So this is the the laser controller. This is where all the magic happens. This is where your easy cad board is in. All right, oh, let me get this off. Ow, my, ow, ow, my butt. Excuse me. And you can set that right here for the time being. And it'll set just fine like that. All right. So more stuff we have. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is all the goodies. Mm, the goodies. Yeah, so we got our. We love the goodies. We got our protective glasses. Oh, we've got a bunch of those. Got a set of wrenches in here. We got our cables, our software, which is very important. Um, you will find a lot of this stuff here, guys, that you'll get your dongle. This is where your EasyCAD software lives. It's very important to not run the software from this dongle. You need to unzip the files and save them to your desktop and launch EasyCAD from your desktop. Uh, it's easy to corrupt this guy because it writes to itself over and over and over. So just remember that. And I'll show you guys how to unpack it and put it on your desktop. Get these bad boys talking to one another. And there we have it. The yeah, and then of course we have our 1064 wavelength glasses, very important. We protect our eyes. So you don't We have mind. like 10 pair of these things yeah. floating around somewhere. Don't know, but. Other lens covers. Mm -hmm. There's a lens cover on there. And this is for the 2D. And this operates EasyCAD 3 with a 2.5D head. So, very cool. We're going to be able to do. Do some cool stuff and keep up with my buddy Christian. If y'all haven't seen some of his work, it's pretty amazing. Uh, Christian Medina, the other engraver. Go check him out. Let's see what else we got here. I believe this is going to be the rotary. Right. And it is. I believe love the rotary. Yeah, this is the big rotary for that. Alright, then we got one more box. We got, I think that's another lens. Let's check it out. Let's see what you got. Oh. It says on the front here. Yep, that's another lens. So this is a 290 focal length. So it should be probably a 175 or a 200 millimeter. Not, oop, don't step on that. But, well, there the, we go. That's the head. There yeah. you go. And the last thing we're taking out, <clears throat> oh, besides our handy dandy butt whooper. Ah! Oh, that's not what that's for, is it? <laughs> is our auto Z tower. So we got a motor up here. Obviously this thing will be controlled by the software. This motor will turn and raise the table up and down. And so, uh, well, that's pretty much our unboxing video. We got us an empty crate. What do you think? I'm waiting and you can ship me off now. <laughs> I can ship you off. All right, yeah, here. I'm gonna ship you off to military school. Hey, you know what? I got a, I got something cool for you. You want to hear it? You know what time it is, right? Ah, uh, it's the dad joke time, isn't it?
without further ado, dad jokes. Now to our favorite part, dad jokes. All right, I so, did the last one. Mine was terrible, and your mom beat me up. I'm just kidding. She didn't beat me up. I, I, that's what she told me to say, that she didn't beat me up. I was supposed to say that. Okay. You tell this one. So, what type of tree can fit in your hand? What type of tree can fit in your hand? A hand tree? No, a palm tree. <laughs> <laughs> that's great dude i love it <laughs> that's my favorite part of this this show is the dad jokes i and i love the intro of it mm -hmm. without further ado i'm sure people are tired of hearing that though <laughs> hey well thanks for watching uh today's video as far as we got today we're going to continue we'll pick up right where we left off in our next video shouldn't be an issue uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments here. Once again, I see those comments are blowing up. If you have any questions about some of the things that we've got, where we get our lasers, accessories that we use, obviously shoot, uh, shoot the comment there and we can make videos about those particular items if you'd like. So as always, right, thanks for watching, right? All right. You ready? Mm-hmm. You got to smack the camera, right? Mm-hmm.